Okay, before we get started, I'm going to make sure my lips are nice and clean. I'm taking a cotton pad and just making sure there's no foundation on them. And then I'm taking my toothbrush to soften them up. Brushing your lips is going to get rid of any dead skin and plump them up a little bit. You can see they get nice and rosy. And this is going to make sure that your lipstick doesn't dry out your lips too much. Lip balm is totally optional. I'm going to be applying one just really lightly to my lips because I'm using a matte lipstick and as we all know, matte lipsticks can be really, really dry. Okay, now grab a lip liner that matches the color of lipstick that you're using and if you don't have an exact match, that's fine. You just want to make sure that you have something where you can precisely line the outside of your lips and something that complements the color of your lipstick. When you're applying lip liner, you want to make sure you're tightening your lips. So whether that's doing a smile or just sort of biting your lips a little bit, it helps make the line really precise and tight to your lips. That way you don't have any feathering and it's nice and clean. Sometimes my lipstick wears off really easily, so I've noticed that when I fill in my entire mouth with my lip liner, it lasts like pretty much all day or all night. So I usually do this, especially if I'm testing out a new lipstick. This is by M Cosmetics. It's called Wine Stain, and I'm going to be applying this to my lips. I'm not really worrying about the lines, as you can see. I'm just applying this to the main parts of my lips, and then I'm going to take a lip brush and do all of the precision work. If you find that you don't have a steady hand when you're applying your lip color, just make sure that you're resting your ring finger against your chin or your cheek as you're working. It really helps to stable out your hand. Okay, now that that's done, it's time for concealer. I'm taking a concealer. This is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And I'm taking my concealer brush, resting my ring finger against my cheek, and pulling it down to create a really crisp and clean line. You want to repeat this around all of the edges of your lips and then blend it out with your finger or a brush. I like to use my fingers to blend out my concealer, especially when I'm doing around my lips, just because the heat from your fingers really melts the concealer into your skin and that way you can't see any obvious concealer lines. And there you have your perfect red lip. I'm going to show you girls how to make any lip color matte now because I know sometimes I have shades that I wish were totally matte and they're super shiny. So I'm going to take my favorite face powder and pop this over my lips using my ring finger and then reapply the lipstick and it'll be long lasting like you wouldn't believe and it's going to make it totally matte. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Leave a comment below and let me know if you're a lipstick girl, lip gloss girl, or just chapstick. And if you have a favorite product that you think I should try, let me know. I'd love to know what your favorites are. Stay tuned. I have two links here for you. One, how I grew up my eyebrows, and two, how I contour like Kim Kardashian inspired. So I hope you enjoy those videos. Check them out if you haven't already. And I love you. Bye.